Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. G, 42. D, 34. G, 24. All wound. Um, we're going to be playing some Robin Trower today. I've got a roto vibe going on here. A roto vibe sounds like this. I'll just go through the sweep. <laughs> I'm going to set it to about here. And you can hear the swirl. There are many ways um, you can use a tremolo and get this same effect. It's not exactly perfect, but it's the same type of modulation. Um, if you want to look at what my Dunlop Roto Vibe looks like, you can look at my um, playlist in this YouTube channel under Pedals. I have my uh, Wah and my Rotovibe. These are two uh, classic pedals you need to play Trower with. Um, so this is a, uh, a, a very, very advanced intermediate level lesson. Um, this is uh, something to work towards. Um, I play this song live. Um, it's not like a classic bar tune. It's something that if someone comes up and goes, oh man, can you play Trower on that? I say, yeah, I can play Trower on that and I'll play this or other Trower tunes. So that's what this song is for. It's also a fun song to just play for your personal self. Um, so really, it's not a bar song, but it's a good one. It's in E. So that's the key I'm gonna do it in. And uh, so let's just, I'll go through this. Uh, it's got two lyrics. Once you do them over and over, that's it. And then an ending. The, the whole song is easy in that respect, um, but it's very complicated in its parts. So let me show you how I do this, and then, uh, then we'll move on from there. Just do another verse, cold wind blows, the gods look down in anger on this poor child. That's the whole song. So you're toggling back and forth between E shapes. One E shape here, and one E shape here. So let's go through our notes um, on our guitar here. So uh, G, on this string right here, G, G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Um, on the D string, we have D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E again. And on our high E, we have G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A again. So, um... This song is kind of in a minor key. It's an E minor key. But you really don't need to know that in the whole context of this song. So this E chord here, where I'm putting my first finger on the E note of the D string, and then B and B. 
okay? I assume you know these shapes now. Um, at this point, if you don't know these shapes, go back and, and to other fundamental lessons and get these shapes down, because we're gonna be doing a lot of this. So you're here, you're gonna slide up to the E. See the dot right there? I just look, one, two, three, four. I know that's an E. So you're coming down with your pick catching that G and you're making this E a minor by doing that so I come up hit it up up stroke and then I go back and forth one time and then I come to this A and I'm gonna bend it to that note slide all the way back down. So I'm here, and at that point, slide all the way back down. So I'm sliding from here down, I just shift my finger. And now I'm back, so I'm kind of doing a those that those that two G strings okay trick one is uh, you're here right on this B you've got a D and you're going to E G E That's trick one. So it's B. Okay, trick two looks like this. So you're hanging on for dear life here on this E, G. So it's uh, D, E, C sharp, E, C, E, G. Those are the two tricks. Um, if once you get your hand in this position, it seems quite easy to do. E, D, E, C sharp, E, C, E. And this is a good practice. You know, you should be practicing things like that. If you want to play Robin Trower and Ozzy and all of these other things, these are the types of exercises you're going to need. Classic rock-wise, Deep Purple uses this stuff. Um, this is These are things that you should practice if you want to reach the, uh, uh, the next level, the solid intermediate where, you know, some of this stuff... Um, Sounds boring to you when I'm instructing it because you figured it out already just from the intro. So, uh... so that is basically the whole song. Um, when I'm singing it, I do a little E7 here. Uh, just so that I can... So I'm singing it, I do that little E7 where I drop the E note down to the D. Um, this song has a C major chord in it, okay? A C major chord on a guitar is the notes C, E, G, and B. On a cigar box guitar, we don't have four notes. We have three. So what I'm going to do is make this C major 7 with a C, a G, and a B. And 
that's what it sounds like. It is a true major chord. It will say C M A J. And you don't really need the G. If you get this C and the B at the same time, it has that vibe to it. So it's a C major. A. All right, there's an ending, a little ending, and it's octaves on the E. sauce for the goose playing up here. So this is a B, A, G, F sharp, E. And that's how you end the song. So listen to Bridge of Sighs and really start feeling it out. Listen to it on, you know, headphones or something. And then start fooling around with this. You can really hold these uh, notes for quite a while. So uh, thank you so much. Bridge of Sighs. This is a big boy. Um, very, very intermediate, right on the edge of expert. So uh, you can judge your, your playing by being able to play these certain things, you know? So I, I put this up a little higher than I do most of the songs we do because um, it's going back and forth with solos while you're singing and all of that kind of stuff. Um, it's Uncle Mark and the Mothership. I do have a link down below. It's a PayPal link. Um, so paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. It's a, like a donation jar. You know, it's a little tip jar. It's a virtual tip jar. And uh, so thank you so much for all you that have donated. I really appreciate it. It really helps out here in the Mothership. And uh, subscriptions and all of those things really help. And I just thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next time.